Hello there and welcome to the very first episode of Meet Your Maker. Today's guest will help me establish my tinkering business in a town that already has two tinkerers. And those guys are really looking down on me. We have tried our whole life to master the modifiers. You won't learn it in just a few days. <laughs> Luckily, Boney is here to help me out. Boney, of course, being the current dev and maintainer behind the infamous Tinker's Construct. We are on a freshly baked version of the mod for Minecraft 1.9. And I'm really looking forward to showcase some of the newer features of this mod while having a friendly and enlightening chat with Boney. So, hello. Uh, hello. Yeah, let's get started building a smeltery. Uh, the qu first question is, how big do you want your smeltery? I don't know, maybe as, as, as big as can be, uh, as big as it fits? Well, let's see. Is there a limit? Uh, there is a limit. There is an internal limit of nine blocks in 1.9. It used to be seven. It's nine now. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's. I think it's a full stack or something like that on one layer and if you do it that big. But I think we don't need it that big in here. Uh, do you have some materials to get started? Everything that's in these drawers over here, I think there's some sort of I don't know, oh, yeah. controller thingy and a, a Fosse? Fawcett? I don't know. Start by getting some seared bricks. Let's start with a traditional 3x3 three three smeltery. Alright. Uh, but I would like to go and fill up this hole first. Yeah, exactly. Doesn't look nice. Uh, the internal area... Uh, give me a second. No, that was wrong. Uh, well, you could make it like that that is a little bit small so I suggest we move the walls out by one and we don't need to fill in these corners here then we can have a little bit more room to move around so let's put it up like that so, and this is the foundation for our smoldery we need a controller a tank and some in and output to use it properly you can make it as high as you want it has to be rectangular shaped like this is a square or you, you don't have to make it square but I like the square and we're gonna go ahead and grab a few smeltery drains let's take two one controller one tank and two faucets each for the drain and casting table and basin so we start by putting the controller here uh, steer tank anywhere on the same level. It doesn't matter where you put it. It only has to be on the same level as the controller. Some ah, steer bricks. I would suggest we put the drains on this side and just make the layer full. Shortly after I place the last block, come over here. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> you will see the smoldery light up like so. Woo! Ta da! There you go. All right. As a note, you don't have to fill out the blocks below the walls to count as the floor. Only the inside of the smeltery has to be covered. Ah, okay. So by this we got a small smeltery going. Now we have the smeltery drains on this side. This is where we can input and output liquid into the smeltery. And we put our casting implements below them and a faucet onto the drains so we can pour out of the smeltery. Now, if we look over here, Luckily, your previ the previous owner left you a sear tank full of lava. We can quickly pick that one up and replace the... Oh, well, why don't we add it here? So we get two tanks. Two is better than one, obviously. And uh, <laughs> by that, we have power for our smeltery. If you open it, if you right-click the controller, you will see we have four buckets of lava with a temperature of 1300 in the smeltery now. And one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, 18 blocks space inside. And with that, we have a fully functional smeltery. Hooray! This is your basic uh, smeltery setup. Yes, my This is the way you. <laughs> glorious. Setup. This is the way you, uh, the maintainer and dev of the mod, builds his very own smeltery. Yeah, I usually start off with a smaller 2x2 one because in the early game, I don't have that many materials. But I usually don't go bigger than 3x3 three three because it's everything I need. What's your opinion of people that build like sky-high smelteries? Well, maybe they want to melt a lot of stone, or dirt, or fill it with water. I don't know. 
Okay, but there is you no... You can e abuse yes? them as tanks, I guess. As really big tanks. Ah, I guess. I guess I've never seen it that way. All right, so now we've got a smeltery running. Uh, I really, really am desperately needing to outsmith those uh, those guys over there because they've been giving me a hard time trying to uh, start my business here. I wanna, I wanna show them. Let's let's make something awesome. Wow. Let's check what we have here, shall we? Yes, so I've got some uh, materials. Mm, some cactus, I see. Very good. Some obsidian, also very good. Oh, a bit of ardent and cobalt even. Really nice. But I don't see any slimes materials. Uh, slimes? No. We haven't seen slimes in these parts of Minecraft yet for centuries. Oh my. <laughs> well, you can't build a proper sword without some night slime. Night it's slime? That sounds secret new. secret ingredient to every good sword. It has night in its name, so it has to be good, right? Uh, can't argue with that, I guess. Yeah, well, How it's not that easy to get night slime. We have to find a rare, rare ingredient. That would be which? Purple slime. Purple slime. All right. Uh, let yeah. me get my my traveling gear, I guess. Um, well, should we make some tools before we head out? All right. What do, what would we be needing? Well, a pickaxe or something usually helps or uh, an axe to chop down and uh, trees and defend ourselves. But uh, I guess we could also start by doing a... What is it called again? Uh, Got some ores over here. Maybe we can, can smelt some and build our own. Oh, ores. Great. Oh, I see you also got some gold ores. We don't use gold tools. Those don't work. Gold tools are just way too weak. But they're so beautiful. But they're beautiful, yeah, but we don't make tools for beauty. We need old-fashioned dirt. Dirt? Yes, we need some dirt, some water. I'm just gonna dig up behind here. And uh, some dirt, some water, and some stone. That, that's more than enough dirt, okay. <laughs> hey, I've got 20. I got 18. Do you have some... Stone are lying around. I should have. Cobblestone or regular Let me stone. Give the dirt. I'm sure I've got some stone somewhere. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. All right, great. So we have some dirt, some stone, and some water now. Now, what we are going to do with this is step on our smeltery and let's throw them in. The water, too? I don't know how much. Uh, well, yeah, we could throw a bucket of water in there, but that wouldn't do much. So what oh, no. we gotta do is ouch, ouch, ouch! <laughs> I'm fire resistant. I've oh look, there's, into there's blood in the smeltery. So I can smell bonies for blood. I didn't know that. Uh, bonies give don't give enough. But you know what? No, <laughs> I don't have a big ass. I don't have. Ah, thanks. So you the are, uh... when you des destroy the smeltery, it, it uh, drops its con components. Uh, its component. This components. It's uh, inventory, so we have to put our stone and dirt back in. All right, stone is already in there. Yeah, I'm putting him back. Uh, I'm putting in it back in. And what we need to do now is to get the water in. So how we do that is you take that water bucket, go Got to it. one of your smeltery drains, and simply right click, uh, right click with a bucket. Ah. Now the water is inside the smeltery. That's now neat. we wait. We wait for the dirt and the stone to melt down. There's blood in the water. Uh, blood is thicker than water, don't you know? So it's ah. in the bottom, of course. Ah, of course. Or you know what? Instead of making a sword, we should make a mattock to get started. Mattock sounds sounds like a perfect yeah, all-round tool. We can use it as a weapon. You can use it to dig up some dirt or some chop down some trees in our way. That should be good enough for us. So why don't we do that by... Where is the park builder? Here. First, building some casts so we can actually create our um, meta, uh, meta. By the way, I love, I love what you did with the GUI. This is like so much more <laughs> amazing than before. Maybe can you, you can uh, take us through the process. Why did you start doing this at all and uh, how hard was it? To... Uh, well, you see, the, the, the UIs themselves, well, the old ones were okay, but they were quite tedious. 
and there were things you could do better there's always things you can do better and uh especially with tinkers it's like you have many new people and there's many things you can do for convenience to uh get them going faster like for one crafting the parts faster so if we have some wood lying around somewhere i think i saw some over here yes right we can go and make us some patterns like so you see it uh you see them on the table yes i do i don't have to look into the gui to see what you are doing yeah that was a really really fun thing that uh was not that hard to do because of the 1.8 models okay and what we're gonna do is is we create a pattern for the shovel head for the x head and of course for a tool rod i put them in our trusty pattern chest and uh, if you, we go to the part builder we can simply click the correct pattern in by the press of a button as long as it's connected to both a pattern chest and a crafting station yeah just like that gotta love it so i guess we want to, we want a mad hack to deal damage and harvest some stuff so i suggest for the damage part we use a cactus x head it never hurts to so use a wooden tool rod and uh, now that we got a mad hack I think our yay our stuff is uh, smolten down. Okay. I'm gonna add one more. I'm gonna add one more bucket of water to convert the rest. And we got two blocks of molten clay in here now. Yes. Now let's go and make a shovel head from any material. I'm gonna use some stone here. And with this stone shovel head, we're gonna make a clay cast. So we make sure that the clay is the bottommost uh, liquid in our smeltery and pour it all over our stone shovel head. As soon as the stuff has cooled down, there it is, we have our nice clay cast ready to use. As so, said, clay is um, much better than stone uh, than gold because it's much cheaper and also you can smelt down some dirt and Gold is just for the fancy people. And aluminum brass has vanished completely in this version. Uh, no, not directly. Aluminum brass still is a th thing, but uh, Tinkers doesn't add any aluminium. So you need a mod that adds aluminium and that adds copper to get aluminum brass. Since we don't have aluminium in here, we have oh. copper but not aluminium, we can't make aluminium brass. And uh, a little birdie told me alumite might be a goner as well? Alamed got replaced by Night Slime, yes. Right. Because I, I I tend to be one of those uh, voices that say that Alamed was quite strong while quite Alamed easily ob very obtainable. Strong, but it also is pretty hard to fit it into the current stuff without aluminium. We got Night Slime though, which is a really versatile tool. Uh, I'm material. looking forward to uh, seeing what we do with white slime and how we get it. Our iron has already molten down, so let's take the molten iron and pour it into our clay cast. I will let you do the honors. Oh, thank you so much, sir. Perfect. Oh yeah, clay casts sadly vanish after you use them. But dirt, stone, water, we got enough of that. We can always make a new one. So, now put the metric into the tool forge and I'm gonna replace the tool part. There we go. That's better. We get a mining speed decrease a slight, but we get a nice magnetic tooth trait and more durability. Also, we can mine diamond. There we go. Do you have your travel, traveling gear? Then let's go and go search for some Slime uh, <clears throat> I got six uh, stone torches. That's all of the traveling gear I need. Great. Let's maybe grab some turkey from my house over there. You want some monster turkey or clownfish turkey? Uh, starfish turkey. That sounds sounds delicious. Hmm. Don't look. Doesn't look like I got any starfish turkey. Oh, well. I'm gonna go for a clownfish myself. As you see above there, we got a regular blue slime island. But it's boring. We are going to look for the notorious Jaded Islands. Jaded Islands. Off we go then. Yeah. Tell me when I start going.
Uh, I think you can go. I will follow you. Let's uh, okay. search for this. Uh, how did you? Your, your your pick is running backwards, but I'm. I don't mind. <laughs> so, uh, how big is the chance of one of those uh, islands you were talking about appearing? Uh, well, I think there's a one in five or one in ten chance that a regular slime island is a purple one. Right. So, let's hope for the best then. Look! I didn't believe they existed. You didn't believe. One. You didn't believe they existed. I, I'm, I thought you were I've the creator. I've never seen one in my life. <laughs> really? I find that hard to believe. I wish Horsey was here to see this. But unfortunately, he didn't make it. Oh no. Well, um, I presume we have to get up there somehow. Yeah. You got, you got a, some cobble, right? I got nine stone in my inventory. I got 29 dirt. We won't get uh, too far. But I got, far. Uh, I got a metoc. We can collect some dirt, maybe? Yeah, let's chop off some dirt around here. This one here should be good to go up. So, you so take I, this I, one, I, I take I, this no, one. I, I suggest you come here, because we don't have that much dirt. And we furiously jump and place some dirt. All right, so... The patented get up into the slime island method. method. That's not dirt. Yeah, I've got a torch in my left hand. Jump, 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 jump. Oh. Five hours later. So this is the, the regular way as intended to get... <laughs> That's <laughs> how I get up usually. <laughs> so you always uh, get there in... In pairs of two, or do you usually go there alone? No, no, I usually go alone, but uh, we don't have enough materials to make two towers, so let's do it like that. Everybody on every server in this on this planet that uh, has or has not at one point seen nerd poles ruining their view has to say thank you. <laughs> this is <laughs> as it was intended by the maker. Well, there is nothing wrong that. about nerd poles. But it's the easiest way to get up to. It is, it is. It's uh, dirt cheap, indeed. <laughs> it is. Mm, but it doesn't work too well. It's Maybe. Man, in, in some opportunities, it's also... No. Oh, it was another there. Right. Oh, we're almost there. Yeah. Look at this purple slimy beauty. Purple goo, yeah. Purple slimy vine. I heard legends about a, a purple lady who loved them, uh, who loved the color. That's why they're named like that. Really? Hello, purple lady. I'm out of dirt again. Oh, that's so sad because you're almost there. Yeah, maybe <laughs> I will borrow some of yours. Yeah, it's working. It's working. I'm nearly there. I'm nearly there. We really did it. Okay, so what exactly yeah. is it that we came here for? Now we have the opportunity Whee! to get, <laughs> yeah, to jump around here. Jump around. Jump really high on that. Jump around. Jump up, jump up, and jump <laughs> down. Exactly. Now we have the opportunity to get some purple, purple slime blocks. <laughs> Screw the purple slime blocks! I want to stay here forever. <laughs> You're jumping on them. <laughs> oh, damn it. Yeah, congeal slime is really, it's, it's, a, it's a great block. I love it. You can, I think, the different slime blocks and slimy blocks have uh, different properties. Well, they all make you jump higher, but you can't stop onto the congealed ones. And uh, also the slimy grass makes you jump a little bit higher. And you can craft slimy mud that also makes you jump a bit higher. I think with congealed slime, you can jump high enough to jump onto a two block high pillar or was it even two block in one slab i don't remember did you uh, also uh, re-implement the slime channels uh not yet no but they I are a planned feature because i i really when love I'm getting fine. around yeah, on those they're awesome when i find the time to do so all right yeah but, uh, speaking of the devil you just told me that you are um, starting your your work i'm gonna start working now full time which means I don't have that much time to uh, work in Tinkan's Construct anymore. So, but luckily I got some few people, uh, especially Nightmare, Nightminer currently, who is helping me out a lot and really makes it possible to progress progress faster now. 
like all the drying rack stuff was done by him and uh, I just tell him what I need, explain what's needed and he just does it. Then we tweak it around a bit and it's done. And instead of me wasting several hours there, I only need like half an hour to get everything sorted out and he does the rest. It's great. Also pick up some of the dirt, uh, some of the slime grass, we will need it. It's slime a perfect grass. opportunity to get some of it since we don't. Uh, yeah, now it's a great opportunity because I can give him stuff to work on and work on other things meanwhile and that way we can, well, get things done twice as fast. While I'm here, since I also still got my buckets with me, I'm gonna grab a bit of this purple slime liquid stuff. We are really high up, don't you agree? Uh, yes, but I uh, presume we are going to Nerd Pole our way down again? Uh, well, you got a mat to take away the dirt, but I got a better solution. I got some wood from the workshop and made us a crafting station. Yay! Let's get our uh, slime blocks and make some slime balls. And if I remember correctly, if I arrange them like that, we get some nice slime boots. Nice. I just uh, took the liberty of taking yeah, a pair. Yeah, take them out. Now, Woo! here comes the really hard part. Uh, quickly go here and I will show you something. You see it? What? Oh, I'm alive. I'm not dead. I'm alive. I'm, I'm bouncing. I just wanted to help you make the jump. <laughs> Thank you so much, I, I was afraid. It doesn't matter how far you fall, they just uh, make you bounce back up always. Let's get over here where it's a bit more open. Not so oh. many trees, I don't like trees around me when using those things. Okay, great. Uh, finally we are out of those woods. I really hate those trees. So, um, do you see this wonderful block right here? Which one? They are also the wonderful. The stone one. Um, <laughs> Which one of the four? Doesn't matter. Just okay. stand here. Yeah. Take your slime sling and if you charge it up really, really far now, yeah. just keep it holy. Uh -huh. Aim at the bottom of the block. At the bottom of the block? Yeah, and then on three you're gonna release it, right? Okay. No, no, you need to aim at the bottom of the block. Okay. Down here, yeah. One, okay. two, three. Whee! Whoa, this is, this is a nice way to travel. Now you know why I don't like trees around it. You have to go backwards, but the slime boots allow you to bounce up again, which means you can keep going quite fast. Now you know why we don't need that pick and horse anymore. We got enough glue and pork for the next winter now. And um, we can travel home using the slime sling now. Woo! Point landing! I'm home. Oh, you went a bit too far. Yeah, I, I, I think I've got to train a little bit more. Oh, well, you can't, we can't all be a master in one day. All right, so I think we got all the ingredients we need to uh, create yeah, night slime. Uh, to create night slime, we need some iron, some purple slime, and again, stone. So while we are smelting and melting, I would like to ask you some maybe personal questions about you as a programmer and how you develop your mods. Yeah, sure. Um, first of all, how did uh, the whole 1.9 migration and the combat update, how did it uh, affect you? There should be a lot going on right now. Yeah, well, the 1.9 update itself wasn't really that bad. There were some changes to the m how models are handled, which is way better now. Basically, modeling stuff got unified. So uh, there are less classes to handle now, and it's a bit more general, it w which wasn't that bad. However, uh, 1.7 to 1.8 that's a completely different story. We also did a complete rewrite of Tinker's Construct from 1.8 to 1.9. <clears throat> uh, 1.7 to 1.8, of course. There is the stone I was looking for, sorry. Um, and yeah, well, what you see here is a, a completely new code base. Everything was written from scratch. It may look the same, but Behind, uh, in the code, it's completely different from what it was in 1.7. Like, it wouldn't have been, well, it would have been profitable, possible, but not to the extent we have it now to add all those material traits and stuff. And we basically had to make some changes to allow us to make more awesome materials and all that stuff we have now. Also, the UIs, of course, were done in the rewrite. 
and so amazing yeah it, it, it's not easy to get all that stuff working together it's, it's really UIs in minecraft are really hard at, at what point in the development process are you is it like 90 percent finished or are you saying this is um well there are still a few old uh tools that are missing which i have some plans for of course all the range crossbows stuff. bows crossbows that will probably be one of the things we will tackle next uh as you might have seen we already have shurikens back yes which basically were my starting point for projectiles and stuff in the last weeks i ported over all the projectile stuff fixed several things with it simplified a few things and yeah i also maybe want to change toy around with the smelter a bit it will stay the same as it always is because the smelter just works but sometimes it would be nice to have a bit some some more specialized things for it we will see and uh, in regards to the 1.9 combat uh, changes how did this uh, affect your balancing oh right well what we did is first thing we got all the regular tools like pickaxe and shovel in line with the vanilla attack speeds so a regular pickaxe from tankers attacks as fast as a vanilla pickaxe broadsword the same the hatchet is a bit different because it's a it's not directly an axe it's a bit more specialized or universal however you want to see it uh then the vanilla one i think it's a tad slower or faster don't remember but it also has slightly different damage and well uh, we're currently trying out something really interesting which is allowing redstone on weapons to give them more attack speed since we don't have too many modifiers now though you have to decide if you want to attack faster or if you want to hit harder so it actually in our testing so far worked out quite well it depends on what players want if they well if you want to hear a tool to be, uh if you want to be attack a bit faster well put a red uh, put one redstone modifier on it if you want to hit harder put quartz on it if you want both put get both but not too much of course okay so a little bit more customization options for the individual player i like it sounds yeah, like we, a, got, we got a we got a few modifiers idea that maybe we will toy around but just experimental stuff nothing 100 percent planned mm -hmm. okay uh, um Considering the uh, power creep arms race, where do you see the 1.9 Minecraft version? Is it like a fresh start for everything? Is everybody starting um, to um, come back to vanilla Minecraft as a uh, fixed point for balancing or is the power creep real? It depends a lot. It really it depends on what, what people and what mod developers will make in the end. Tinker's construct itself has and still is balanced around vanilla. If you consider a diamond sword with a sharpness and durability enchantment and whatnot, it's actually, I think, a tad stronger than a broad, uh, broad sword with full modifiers. But of course, it's a bit easier to get a broad sword. You can repair it easier, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So Tinkers always has vanilla as its baseline. Uh, this may seem a bit weird to some people because of some things in 1.7, but none of, of the materials were ever added by Tinker's Construct itself, because all the Enderium and Signalum and Lumium and whatever uh, are added by Extra Tick. Tinker's Construct itself only added the base variants, and those were always were in line with everything else. Um, so yeah, and it's the same here. Um, Minion sort of. I mean, it's it's with all the traits. It's possible to create even stronger uh, stuff now but the modifiers are slightly different the stats are slightly different so in the end it's not that much uh, overpowered as it seems where are you by the way oh there I'm you are here waiting for you well uh, I ne quickly need to harvest those trees here okay because they got uh, bluish leaves which hopefully will give us some blue slime uh, blue slime balls so, uh, what got you into modding in the first place? Now that you're on the verge of uh, leaving modding for the for the bigger part, since your work life is about to begin, what got you into this this crazy well, scene? Well, I wouldn't say I'm leaving modding. I'm just won't have much less time for it. <laughs> ah, that, that's but good we'll news. See. That's good news. But anyway, what got you into it? Uh, well, what got into it? It's actually funny because I was playing Minecraft and I actually was doing some videos because I was bored too. But uh, in the end, I was like, hey, let's play. I, I really like the old Iguana tweaks for Tinker's Construct. And uh, well, as 1.7 came around, uh, nobody was there to update it. And in the end, I said, okay, let's 
screw this, I'm just gonna update it myself. And so I did that. And that's how I started working on Iguana Networks and how I started working more on Tinker's Construct itself and one led into the other and well now I have Tinker's Construct. Your Java skills were they proficient beforehand or did you uh, develop yeah, them? Were proficient beforehand. I also have uh, knowledge of C and general um, coding knowledge. I've been doing I've actually been doing modding since I was, I don't know, twelve or something like that on different other stuff and C-like languages. So I'm quite proficient in coding. I'm also studying studied software engineering. And uh, so the coding part wasn't really there. It's It really helped me a lot with understanding what's going on inside Minecraft. But in the end, you learn it from reading existing code and reading the Minecraft code itself. So you can get done what you want done. Since you kind of inherited uh, the mod, like I inherited this smithy, um... How do you go about preserving Dio's uh, legacy in a way? Is it is it hard for you sometimes to to implement new things because you um, think ah, it's it's kind of holy? I can't change it. Uh, in general, well, I try to keep Tinker's construct the same because, as I said, the the design itself, everything is great. The smeltery, for example, just works, which is why I didn't change a thing about it. There's nothing to change. It's more or less perfect as it is so i try to keep it the same but i try to expand on areas where it makes sense to me and also of course i'm gonna add things that i think are fun like slime boots, boots. <laughs> and the slime sack. so how's the sword co coming along i can't wait to rub it in those other smiths faces oh right you know what we need uh i got us uh, some blue slime ball Blue slime balls. Yeah, and you got who doesn't? Who doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> Blue balls. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my. Oh, okay. If we put some slime uh, balls in here, doesn't matter how you arrange them, and sand and dirt, we get our nice blue slimy mud. I quickly smelted down the slimy mud, and we got us a nice slime crystal here. We're gonna use that to make us a nice two rod which needs exactly one slime crystal. Slimy two rods are, well, I mean, you don't mind holding gooey things in your hand, right? Right. Uh, and with that, you can build yourself an awesome sword. You can Night name slime it, broad sword. Let me name it. It's going to be the... You have to type slow, though. Slimy thingy. Perfect. I don't know. I'm I'm not that good with naming things. You <laughs> may be able to okay. tell. So if we look at the slimy thingy in the forge now, we see it has 1,200 durability. Quite good. 71 point attack. Uh, still three modifiers, and it got a slimy, crumbling, and hellish traits. Slimy, while well, it's gooey. The crumbling doesn't help us much, but we got a hellish trait, which allows us to deal two bonus damage to any non nether, nether mobs. That will surely show those guys. All right, let's rub it in their faces. Okay. Um... If not, I got my frying pan with them. <laughs> okay. Oh, I, I really can't wait. Hey, <laughs> hey there. <laughs> hey, what? droids, look at you with your puny little swords. I don't understand <laughs> the new materials. Nothing <laughs> works. What is this? Oh no, this is really this is. Puny. Try adding some glue. Yes, it you need to add glue. And you need Night Slime. You know Night Slime? Ever heard of Night Slime, my friend? No, you haven't. Have you? No. <laughs> yeah, there you the go. What the fuck is Night Slime? This is a kid's show, sir. Please watch your language. Yes. You have no idea. Why do you... <laughs> oh, oh, you think oh you can build stuff, right? Oh, yes, I, I, I am a smith turn. now. I'm a smith. I am a smith. I was taught. I was taught by oh, the yes. master. I was taught by the master. Shut Look at you. Look at you with your puny little soft. I learned from the best. I learned from the best. You might, wait, you might want to go back, sir. Wait, you might want to stay back. This is a kids' show, sir. Language, please. So, I, uh, you go back inside. You go back inside. You go back inside. Well, well, you can still pre-order it. You do, yeah. Go back inside access. now. Go back inside. Your time's over, sir. Uh, oppression! <laughs> oppression! <laughs> <laughs> and you stay in there or you get my And you pen. stay in there, right. So... Well, Boni, thank you so much for coming by, showing me how to tinker, how to smith, and how to handle the slimy thing. I, um, cr I really appreciate what you're doing for uh, the community, for the modded community. All the best for the future for you and your mod. Oh, the pen. I'm going to get the pen, ain't I? 
What? I'm doing nothing. <laughs> that would have been would have been would have been a good ending, I guess. I wanted to see if I can smack you into the lava. Though. Yes, you can. <laughs> and that's. I was hoping. And that's the last episode of Meet Your Maker. Mm. I wanted to see if I can smack you into the lava there. Yes, you can! <laughs>